Hello guys, how are you all doing? Lukoch here, and today uh, well, this video is on based on um, 4G routers, and this is mostly for people that are uh, basically for people that are off grid and also don't have access to uh, fiber optic cables. Um, and this is uh, internet solutions. Now, this is a disclaimer. First of all, before we get into this video and before you learn, this is only. This is this is only for options that will use mobile data networks that include that include 3G and 4G options. This has nothing to do with satellite satellite dish internet as we do not get hit here for the UK. This can oh, bear in mind though this video that I'm about to explain for it will say the same for the US, but this video itself though excludes satellite dish internet connections and things like that. Anyway, let's get into it. Anyway. Hello, as I already said, hello guys, look at here. Basically, though, going in, this is for basically though, this is for three and four G's internet solutions. Now, first of all, must disclaimer for this um, thing to work, you'll need if your signal where your house is or your teeny house or you know off grid um, unit or somewhere if it doesn't or house depending you know that doesn't have signal or any internet whatsoever. Um, this. You will we'll need, at, I'm going to say this, at least a 3G connection to make this internet solution worthwhile. 4G is better, as of course you get faster speeds um, than 3G, but you'll at least need 3G, because 2G, you, most of these routers will work, but the, but it's just so slow, there's just no point having it. You might as well just, I don't know, not have the internet. But either way though, this is solutions that you'll need to get internet now to get to your house. Now first of all, depending on what you need, some of these prices may vary. Uh, this will include proper routers that are having that you can plug your antenna, external antenna in because you'll need at least one of them. If you can't get signal with your phone, in most cases you won't get it with your 4G router. Uh, bear in mind this will be for 4G routers only, there's no smartphone hack up thing, antenna thing. Uh, basically though, what you'll be needing is you have two options that make it cheaper, and I will show them because I have them on my computer or laptop or whatever you want to call it. Um, is you're going to need um, at least a 3G or 4G signal, and if you can't get it off your phone, then in most cases you won't be able to get it off whatever router you buy, and you'll need to buy an external antenna. Now, first of all, if you're hunting for routers, first of all, is make sure if you want if you don't get signal you need an external antenna make sure it has an external antenna port some come with two two um, aerial ports and one comes with one that also that also means if when you buy your antenna make sure it comes with the right amount of uh, ports because most people have put one one um, a one aerial port antenna um, into a one that needs two antennas or two antenna wire feeds you basically just need one antenna and some will come with two wires, one will just come with the one wire. Now people have, like, this will only be a thing though with uh, the two port ones, though if you buy a two port area and you need to only use it in in a one port then you think you're fine. This is only, this is the disadvantage with the areas with two ports. Now people have tried to plug in a uh, one port, one cable feed into a two port router thing and the thing is it'll show it has signal but it won't work as fast and in most cases it'll only last for a bit and then it'll fail because it's not getting proper signal that it needs um, even when most of them are advertised for a certain router to work with it it doesn't have to work so check your, do your research first before you buy now here's solutions is if you have a teeny house or thing you'll need to get antenna now depending how far your signal mass is you may you may need an expensive one or a cheap one. They, most of them, you'll just need a little boost so it can get it a better signal. Now, for example, if your mass is only two, two or three miles out, out before it goes out of range, then you can mostly, in some cases, get away with a very cheap antenna. Now, if your signal does drop quite far, far until it drops out quite far away, in most cases you'll need to get an expensive antenna. Basically, a one that looks like a caravan TV area, or one that has proper high, you know, high range receiver, and versus a one that just has some metal tabs that you know somewhat make your signal better. But you'll mostly get away with your signal disrupts out two or three miles away. But if you want it with something like ten miles or something, you know, slightly extreme, you'll need 
a big expensive antenna and I have some solutions for, on here that I'm going to show you right now. Now before I get into antennas, um, first of all routers. Now depending of what you have, if you have all devices and you plan for your home, teeny house, boat, whatever you're using for your off-grid solution, is first of all you're going to need router type. Now there's two router types. If you have no de if you do not want to have Ethernet cables or you know need a proper hardwired routers like you most of the ones you get with you know home broadband ADSL or, or you know cable modem suppliers and you just use wireless only you never need an Ethernet cable then you'll mostly be able to get away with a small um, one similar to this now I don't know if you can see that or not but you'll only need something like this it is just a small little router like that now it has no Ethernet ports but it does have 4G and it has an external thing antennas that you'll be able to use now there's a different solution is that will be alright if you just have wireless enabled devices but if you have a hardwired device so one thing you'll need you'll possibly need a uh, wireless adapter for it or you're going to have to go or if you want like hardwired hardwired and you wish to do, do you know just have wireless and you want wireless and hardware you probably want to get something like this this is off eBay by the way versus the other one that was off on Amazon but this is a used market most of these will go for 90 pounds but you'll need something like this which is basically the same as a home router but has the 4G enabled and the antennas now I recommend these either way most used ones are pretty good condition as well you can't go wrong Depending on where you want, you may just want a 3G one or a 4G or 3G one. If it's got 4G, you often have 3G as well built in. Let me just put that out there. Um, and apart from that as well, if when you choose the router you wanted, uh, there's loads of them out there. Just check your reviews and make sure they have the external antenna ports because this is the main part of it for, you know, off-grid. Uh, and then the next thing that's in your mind is antennas. Now, like I said, with cheap antennas, it all depends really on service. Now, if you're only a, a few miles away until it drops out of way, then you'll mostly be able to get be able to get away with ones that only cost four, five to four pounds, and, th and that does sound a bit too good to to be true. But most cases, those cheap ones that are often really bad quality, sort of speaking, or don't receive good signals, most of the time, if you're very close to until it drops, then these ones will often give you the job and still give you a good, very good speed than what. The normal router would do if it was right up next to it. Uh, but for example, though, is if your signal's a lot worse, then you'll need to get a more inexpensive one. Um, oh yeah, before I get into it, let me just show you something cheap, like um, hang on, something. If I just click on it, something cheap like this, for example, um, just a basic small um, little thing like that. Uh, just the two, you can get ones with one or twos depending on your router. Something like that will be good for, you know, signal drops are only a mile or two away, but you know, just need a boost because you can't get any signal whatsoever. But, for example, if you're very unlucky, you'll probably need something, well, I'm going to say this, if you have something medium and you, it's not too bad, but probably needs a little increasing, because most ones, most of these higher range ones I'm going to show you in a moment, often cost of almost 60 quid. Now those are really good, especially if you're 15 miles away, but I can't guarantee that you can get something from that far away, but 10 miles for sure, and still get a good decent speed, you know, speed and distance is always a good thing, but if you want something middle range, and also if you're planning to use this for a caravan, then something like this, or especially for a caravan, would be more appropriate. And that is these, uh, they're just little circle antennas, but that is not a directional one. If you want a more expensive one, you, or you know, one that's quite far away, you want a directional one. And this is a good one that I always recommend. This is on Amazon. These these fit on for any routers now, so you can connect this to a TV aerial pole as well. Well, not actually wire it in with the TV, but you can put it on a pole via a TV aerial mounting would normally use you would want to use something like that all these links if I can possibly remember no so put them down I'll put them down in the description because I can't put them on the screen because these are you know shopping things but I'll try and put those down in the description when I when I edit if I remember it's most guys I just join these over and get them up and don't really think much else after them um, so yeah that's your router chains now this is also the thing when you when you 
basically when you're wiring up, you want to know where your base is. So if you've got a directional one, like most of these, are, if you've got a circle on a 360 antenna, it's often not that good, but they do get good signals. So you don't need to mess around where you point. If you're more, if you've got a directional one, a directional one, you want to have the thing, your router with the signal bar, so you can tell what signal is and spin it around. Or in some cases, that may depend on the angle. Or in some cases, you'll need to get on the, on the intervals or the internet and have a look and see where your antenna points, your 4G antenna or 3G uh, antenna points, and then you'll have to point it that way. Uh, so let me put that in mind as well, you'll need that for the directional ones, but 361s would get for more, it's basically no problem. Now there is one thing now, just to finish it off, is when you've got your internet solution is you'll have to sort out this, because you've got a SIM, because these 4G routers and 3G they need SIM cards, the same as what your mobile phones use, for your, you know, like your smartphones, even old phones work, but you know, for the 3G and 4G things that you normally use, you need a data SIM card. Now, here's the thing that you have to put an advantage in mind, there's prices, so you do your research first, I'm in the UK, you may be watching this in the US or anything else, but the, for, the internet and the internet routers and the antennas will do the same thing for you, but the most thing that will stand out to everyone though, and it will be different for certain, for different being, is pricing for data plans. Because basically though, when you get these routers, they need a SIM card the same as your phone, and then you've got to select a data plan. Now, here's the thing I recommend. Depending on how much you want to use your internet, then some cases, most cases though, for anything, if you're going to use it a lot, or you know, just browsing Facebook, then maybe something like 6 gigabytes of data would be enough per month depending on how heavy your internet use is. Now versus if you want to watch movies over the internet and things like that on YouTube, then you may have to go for an unlimited data plan. But they, depending on where I am and in the UK, they're not overly too much, briefly speaking. You can often get an unlimited data package and also phone package and some routers you can actually plug a telephone, you know, a handheld, you know, phone telephone in the back of them and then you could use them and also have a home phone as well connected up to the router meaning then you have an off grid and a telephone at the same time but that's nothing to do different though but uh, most times for one of them that you just normally put in your phones most depending where you look at sometimes 28 to 20 quid uh, depending on your internet use you may be able to get away with 6 gigabytes but it's still cost a fair but but it's not as it's way not as much as what you'd pay for an unlimited plan but depending on your internet usage uh, bear in mind prices may be a bit varied and also a bit on your location as well, you want to choose, because of your signal and especially if it drops, you want to choose, depending on the price, the most thing that stands out is get a decent supplier or supplier that will at least get you a good signal band as possible, even if you use an expensive antenna, because that means then your speeds will be good and, de and also on weather conditions your connection will be very, will be much more reliable. Um, so apart from that though, uh, there's good things and deals around, you just gotta go shopping, that's all. But for most things though, you can get 4 gigabytes for mostly £9 and such on contracts, and 20 gigs for £20. Depending on where you go, you may want to have a look on places, depending on your country, like if you're American, you want to have a look in at AT&T and stuff like that, and stuff like that. And if you're in the UK, depending on where you, where you are, you may be alright with just cheapo stuff with unlimited data, but if you in rural areas and places where other, you know, signal places are good, you want to go with the you, you know, your best, you know, country selling brand like, or the best coverage ones like, in the UK with Vodafone or O2 or something like that versus Tesco and places that are, you know, small brands that ain't that mostly popular in the UK or, well, are still popular but it's not as big, big as what they are so they're speaking and don't have the good coverage and things like that. I'm starting to talk at me, but basically though, shop around and make sure you get a good, good contract and a good co and good cover signal coverage. Because either way, you'll need an antenna, but make sure you get a one that give, gives good speeds and is a good price, and also one that's a half decent, co co you know, supplier and has good coverage. But apart from that though, that's all what you basically need. Hopefully I haven't made this into a big confusing mess because I am basically just saying this off. I'll, I'll, I have no scripts or anything. I'm just bringing this off straight off the top because I do sometime in the future uh, or when I leave my house because of prices in the UK raising up so much I may plan to not live in a caravan 
because I do not want to be called as a gypsy, but I do want to build a teeny house because I do like DIY things, I do like explore, exploring, and uh, I do use my internet a lot. So I thought I'd bring this my information that I've gathered for so long, as I've been thinking about this teeny house thing for so long when I, you know, when I was young and still have it in my heart at 15, you know, four years later and I'm 15 years old. But apart from that though, that wraps up this video. Um, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this hasn't been too hard and so confusing to listen to, but if it's came useful, then please like it. If, please like it. Um, and, and if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them, and especially if I can, so if I know the knowledge, depending on what the question is. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks very much. Cheers.